This episode sponsored by our viewers. Thanks to folks like Ellie, Ivar, and Connor, we've been able to continue producing episodes. Our most dedicated sponsors are those that enjoy the show. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I am your host, Derek Schilmer, and today I almost forgot my name. Today, You've we're going drinking. to... I, no, I was trying to subtly look down and make sure I got the recipe name right before I did it, and I forgot my name. So I'm Derek Schilmer, still. We're going to make the Christmas Aurora. This recipe comes from Jan, and Jan did some experimenting over the weekend or so, and with eggnog, really, and was attempting to get some different drinks that you can use with eggnog that don't look just like brown or eggnoggy. This one I thought looked pretty neat. And he put pictures. You can go to awesomecocktailsanddrinks.tumblr.com if you want to see his site where he keeps all of his experiments. One ounce of dark rum. Two ounces or anything that's not white rum. Two ounces of creme de banana. We're using 99 bananas because it's awesome. One third ounce of creme de menthe who's hiding under here. And that's going to be kind of the effects at the end. Two ounces of eggnog. Eggnog. That's what we're going to do. We're going to shake and strain all but the creme de menthe. We're going to leave that out for now. And that's really because it's for effect. In this drink, it's going to be used much like grenadine might be used. So let's do an ounce of our... So you want green creme de menthe? Yes, you want creme de menthe that is of the color green. Like the... This is green one, right? They have both. Clear and green. Clear will probably give you the same flavor but without the awesome sexiness. This is Ron Abuelo, Año, seven Año, seven year old uh, Ron Abuelo. <laughs> Ron, wow, you're doing real good. Ron, uh, I can't remember, it means rum. I think it means rum. <laughs> seven year old rum, who knew? You should have just not done that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Whoa, two ounces of banana. This is going to be very banana-y. Banana-tastic, yeah. And this is good banana too. Potent. Potent. Hey, well. It's going to burn. This is. Oh, I don't know. You think the eggnog is going to take some of the edge off? Yeah, probably. This is a a, a powerful. This will help chill it up a little bit it too. It won't burn as much as that ginger beer. No, 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 no. Nothing will burn as much as ginger beer. Or as I think your review was stellar in the fact that you just went, blah. <laughs> yeah. That's because I wasn't expecting it. That's Even though thing. you just made it. I looked, it's nice and pinkish, and I'm like, ooh, drink it. And I'm like, whoa. It's, it will take you by surprise. Yes, it's not very nice. You just leave it out. No, then you just have a Cosmo. It's all right. They're pretty good. Yeah, well, Cosmo. We're using a decoiper. De decoiper? Decooper? I don't know. One third. I don't have a one third, so I'm going to, whoa. I'm going to slow pour that sucker. Don't get on my shirt. <laughs> and we're done with that. Put that back on. And he said swirl it around. So I will swirl it around. It won't sit on top, but super cool looking. That is the Christmas Aurora. Jan is from Canada, I believe. They have auroras there. Kind of looks like the Aurora Borealis. Yeah, isn't it like a star The Northern of Lights. Sort? No, it's the uh, sun's little tingly things. Particles. One of the rays, maybe UV, I don't know, one of the particles blasting against our atmosphere up there. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Maybe I'll just put that on a wiki link on everydaydrinkers.com so people can read about the Aurora Borealis, the northern lights. But it's definitely cool looking. It smells like mint. Mmm. 
the aromas right away, the initial taste right away, very banana. Tastes like you ground up a banana in here. Flavorful. Slight amount of hint of mint. Again, not so much mint like you would get out of, say, a pretty much any other creme de menthe cocktail. The the eggnog is present, the thickness is there. It's it's got that nice creaminess to it, but with the 99 bananas, this sucker is lighting up your face. It's a very warm, very alcohol potency in the finish. Um, my lips are numb, but at the same time, it doesn't last too, too long, so you get over it. But I would say definitely be careful on how many of these drinks you have, because this can hurt you, yet still maintains a nice taste, a little minty texture, a little minty flavor. It's a good drink. Plus, out of all the different things you can do with eggnog, one that has lasted this long without completely diminishing to nothing. Normally, you know, these drinks, they, the effects don't last that long. This looks like it could go on for a while, and, and it's going to get more green at the bottom as it sinks. I like it. Definitely festive, definitely pretty. Definitely a cocktail for everydaydrinkers.com because we're teaching you how to drink.